Hello, welcome to the Late Night Rising Super Stream. It's me, Liam, and I'm still using this terrible PS4 theme, and you can't stop me. Tonight, we are resuming... Knack. Knack 2. It's been a minute. I'm really excited to get back in on this game, because uh, it's a fucking good time. Uh, let me just pause my downloads. Because we need most internet. I just realized those are still downloading, so. Um, Knack 2. Boys. <laughs> Enjoyable says, what terrible theme. All I see is the Knack one. Fuck you. <laughs> this theme sucks. It, uh, my girlfriend really doesn't like it. It's bad. She played through the other day uh, Manifest 99, which was a really cool VR game. If you have a VR headset uh, on your PlayStation Quattro, I highly recommend Man Manifest 99. It was really cool. I'm not gonna stream it or anything because it's like, it's like 40 minutes long, but it's a really cool experience. So, yeah, that was good. Also, I played through Super Hot VR today, and boy, that game's awesome in VR. I couldn't believe how good it was. Is this the same as the one in TGS? Uh, uh what do you mean? What do you? What do you? What do you mean? You mean the, the, the theme? I'm not sure. Oh, Mario had the theme might have come with the game if you pre-ordered it digitally. I'm not sure. I had to pay for it extra, so. That humongous four dollars. Yeah, Bread Assassin. So Bread Assassin says, I know Liam wasn't gonna stream it anyway, but it sucks that the devs put a limit on how much of Danganronpa V3 you could show. So yeah, they said you can only stream up to the first um, trial, but you can't stream the first trial itself. You know, it, it kind of sucks, but on the other hand, I, I respect them wanting to keep things spoiler-free. Same as with Persona. It kind of sucks, but I respect the intent. So, yeah. Have you played through Uncharted Lost Legacy? I think I'm, like, three or four chapters away from the end. I'm really far into it. It's quite good, actually. I like it. So, yeah, so you don't get to stream a lot of it. So yeah, that's it. I, I'm not sure that embargo... I can check my email because I, I did get a review code for it. I think the embargo might only apply before the game's actual release date. Um, but I'm not 100% sure because it's not out until next week. Next week? Two weeks from now? Next week, I think. I guess that giant tower sends out so, yeah. that wake the robots. Might be A-OK -okay if, you're, if you're buying a copy next week. So... Knack 2, we're still doing it. We still have, like, a lot of game left. Let me just plug my headphones into the right headphone port. If I have my headphones plugged into my PC, I get, like, a second of audio latency. Which is, like, bad in an action game like this. Oh, it's out next Tuesday? Then yeah. Okay, we got kicks. We got grab block, which we always, which I always forget about. I was going to say we always forget about, but this is extremely not your fault. And me blaming it on you would only make me feel bad. And we got to try to get all the sunstone because it's worth experience now. Also, there's a little knack hole down there. Oh, this is just a sunstone corner. Look at this. This is beautiful. Oh, it's a huge amount of experience. Near Automata worth it? $51? Uh, I would say so, absolutely. Oh my god, knack hole after knack hole. Is there a third one? No, that's it. What a disappointment. I think Near Automata is totally worth the $51. There's a, there's a DLC for it that's $15 to $20. I can't remember the exact price. And that one's a little rich for my blood. But... Otherwise, the base price of the game. Fuck, I mean, you know what? Fuck me. I would recommend Nier Automata at any given price, so... Wow, these enemies are really easy with the, uh, the air kick. Yeah, Niaz, I hope, I hope the new, um... Virtual on comes to North America. The, uh... Railgun one? I hope it does. Or, English Asian would be good enough, honestly. I'll take that. Oh yeah, we're stuck getting crystals. Let's go. Have you heard that 
Taro is looking for more writers on the series. Yes, so actually, you know, that's a really interesting thing, the blob. Thank you for bringing that up, yeah. Um, let's go for Ruby Relic since we have more completion there. Um, Square Enix is hiring people, staff, for explicitly for near projects and for building on the near world as if it wasn't like confirmation enough you know near doing near automata doing really really well and blowing up um explicit confirmation that we're gonna get more near which excites me a lot it does i i might not be yelling and screaming or anything but it does excite me a lot i think i'm i think the only reason i'm not like screaming about it is because like i already kind of thought it would happen but just really cool. I'm just really glad that's happening. Fuck, damn it, god damn it. Frankly, I think this would have happened sooner for Yoko Taro if Dragon Guard 3 had launched on the PS4. I, I still think Dragon Guard 3 should have fucking launched on the PS4. It came out, um, what was it? September or October? Right before the PS4 came out, PS4 would have come out in November that year, and it was plagued with performance issues, and it you know it was up against the PS4 coming out. Um, God, if that had if that had just been a launch title for PS4, which I know is no small feat, and I'm oversimplifying the task. Oh, our Sunstone! Damn it, we were on such a good Sunstone streak. If that had just been a launch title for PS4, fuck man, people would have bought in like nuts just off just off the thirst for games because there was a thirst there was a mighty thirst even although i worked on thief and i'm very proud of my work on it i do i'm no i'm no stranger to the notion that thief the the modern one is a mediocre or middling at best game but even thief was profitable because next gen thirst was so strong shadows of shadow of mordor I mean, besides being a good game, was super profitable because the demand for next-gen games is so frothing. If Dragon Guard 4 had just managed to be there at launch. What does this do? Oh, it adjusts the, the slots. I see. Anyway, if Dragon Guard if Dragon Guard 4 had just been there at launch, man, I staunchly feel. Like we would already. Oh, that was bad. I staunchly feel like Yoko Taro would already have this. This one looks good. There we go. Nice. Did Infamous Second Son do good when it came out? Yeah, yeah, Infamous did as well. Pretty much, honestly, pretty much everything in that beginning window did great, but Infamous did really well. Uh, publicly, it's it's hard to see the numbers. VG charts isn't reputable, and that's the one that people often jump to, unfortunately. Um, Maybe they can puzzle out this place. But you can check out at least like uh, the uh, NPD sales data and get some like vague numbers oh shit and by vague numbers i just mean you'll see like a top 10 but you can extrapolate some data not a whole lot but a little bit but infamous definitely did well Na and knack did extremely well too actually knack in japan did amazing mind you knack was a bundled title so its numbers are fudged a little bit i mean it did well enough that it's got a full sequel here you know so P pretty much like it's pretty much a given that if you have a launch title, whenever a console comes out, you're gonna do good. Like, it's pretty much a given. And that that's always heightened by, like, if your console has crazy demand, which they almost always do. I think exceptions to that would be, like, the Vita uh, and Wii U, where the demand was not crazy. It was really not crazy, unfortunately, for either of those consoles. But, like, pretty much everything that launched on the Switch did well. I mean, fuck, we saw Bomberman did really well. That game was, like, crazy overpriced for what it was. And, like, hatred against Konami was at, like, an all-time high. Or, I shouldn't say all-time high, that's actually incorrect for the timeline, but... Hatred for Konami was still pretty fucking high, and Bomberman still did really well. 
uh, Ultra Street Fighter 2 on the Switch did really well. Like, as long as you have a popular console, pretty much everything that gets in in that launch window has, a, has kind of a free pass. It's stronger this I mean, maybe if your game's abysmal, news, it won't, but... We'd better hurry. You know. We gotta get in there and figure out a way to stop this. If Gundahar is in there, what we Man, I sure came a whole lot... lot of, bleh, I sure came a long distance away from talking about Dragon Guard 3. But anyway... Fuck damn it, why wasn't that game on PS4? Would've done so good. I remember the thirst for Japanese games was really, really real at the beginning. It was crazy. Well, that Xenogears HD mention Hideo Kojima's name. Uh, uh, Zone of the Enders, you mean. Um, maybe it will. Ultimately, I th think... Not to say he didn't contribute meaningfully, but I think Hideo Kojima was always just the producer on Zoe. Um, not to say that's not a lot uh, of work, but I believe it was always someone else's baby. The series. I'm not 100% sure. I, I, I won't lie to you and say that like I know everything about Zoe, because I don't. I know a lot less about Zoe than I do Metal Gear. Okay, let's go reset that thing. Oh, yeah, the question, will Kojima's name be on it? I don't know. I actually have no idea. It'd be nice to see it. Okay, that's not correct. <laughs> Uh, okay, I gotta find, like, a box or some way to make a platform there. Oh, it's just this. Oh, well, fuck me. <laughs> just one more push, Nat. Taro game budgets are generally just sacks of cheeseburgers. Well, he got a good budget for Nier Automata. No matter how you slice it, hiring Platinum for that long to make a game that big, like... Nier Automata's no small game. They got You got a real budget there, for sure. I do think that they gave Nier Automata a, a, a meaningfully bigger budget than Dragon Guard 3 and um, Nier. Because I think, I think to a certain degree they were able to at least be assured that, hey, since Platinum's making the game, like um, it'll at down. least be of a certain level of quality. Because fucking Nier and Dragon Guard 3's quality is... <laughs> they're... Uh, Inconsistent is a polite way to put it. Okay, we gotta remember how to fight. This is like the first enemy we've actually encountered. Oh shit. Oh wow, that comes up quickly. Okay, okay, okay. Now we know. Saito knows how to bargain. Yeah, no, I don't. <laughs> I don't think you can really bargain with a company like Platinum Games. <laughs> Doesn't really work that way. All the employees need 50k, man. You gotta pay them. They gotta put food on the table. They have families. <laughs> Could you imagine your boss walked in one day? And he said, hey, we're gonna make this game, and you don't really have a say in it. And we're gonna reduce your pay by 30% for this project. Like, that don't happen. Fuck, the, ra the, the range on that is really good. Oh, you mean he bargained as in he got Square Enix to pony up the money. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that I, yeah. That he did. Oh my god. Okay, sorry. I need, I need to actually pay attention to this enemy. Can I block? No. Sorry, this is awful. Hold triangle when enemies are electrified. I don't actually have a move map to hold triangle right now. Like, straight up, I haven't gotten that far in the game. Because that would mean I can use the... the grapple? Yeah, I, I have nothing on hold triangle. Why is this guy actually legit so tricky to fight? 
Like, holy shit, the range on that. I think I have to jump air dash to get out of it. Even then. Hang on, hang on. <laughs> hang on. Hang on, this enemy's ridiculous. Wondering when something tough would show up. I don't know if the jump hover would work there, because the the explosion is quite large. I can try on the next one, but I don't know if jump hover will work. I'm happy you came with me. But I'm worried what Sander will think. Don't be silly. I was right to put my trust in you. Oh, of course. Sorry, this is a puzzle for dumb people. No, wait. This is a puzzle to stump to stump dumb people like me. It was tricking me all along. Why am I so bad at video game? Man, it's really just devolved to crystals. I'm excited to get more gear, but I'm, I'm not sure at this point. Yeah, I feel like that was kind of cheating the puzzle solution, but hey, I'll take it. Yeah, Left Alive looks really cool. The new uh, Square Enix not front mission project. Uh, I don't know if you guys saw on um, online, but there is now footage of Left Alive. Looks pretty sick. As in gameplay footage, that is. Oh, I see. Not a blue one. I'm a smart dude. If you check on Gematsu, I believe they have the footage posted. That includes a, it includes a little bit of gameplay. Don't get too pumped. There's like ten seconds of gameplay or something. But there's a there's a handful of in-engine footage in addition to the gameplay where you get to see a close-up of one of the characters and stuff. Yeah, really, it's up totally. Just a little bit. Don't don't get too excited, but it's there. Holy shit. This enemy is still... This enemy is still no joke. What the hell? I don't feel like I have a count... Okay, let's let's try the... The hover in the air as someone recommended. Okay, double jump seems like a reliable way to get out. I need to get rid of that green enemy though. Fuck, I dashed right into that. Okay, so the double jump seems like it might be the answer here. Oh, 
Yeah, okay. So, so double jump might just be the answer. This enemy grouping is no fucking joke. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, fuck, he bumped me. That was bad. Very bad. Yeah, so the double jump, even as Baby Nacked, I totally cleared it, so. What do you think about that tribute to Iwata in all Nintendo Switches? Um, so, if you haven't seen the news, uh, people found uh, an NES animate uh, an NES emulator named Flog, which is the word golf backwards, uh, on Nintendo Switches. Uh, included in the firmware of all Nintendo Switches is the NES game Golf, which... Uh, is the first game Iwata worked on for Nintendo, I believe. Um, and on July 11th, as in the day of Iwata's death, if you do the um, directly hand motion that he did in Nintendo Directs, um, it should boot up the emulator. But it has to be July 11th, and that date has to be verified by the server, so you can't change it locally. Because the Switch has two dates that it tracks. It tracks the, the console the console date and also the server side date. So you can't fudge it. Wow, why am I struggling here so much? This is tough. Really neat. This is a tough fight. What if I go for the other green guy first? If it could only be done on July 11th, how did people find out about it just recently? That's a great question. So what happened was some guy had it trigger on July 11th earlier this year, and nobody could really figure it out. Um, but recently, with advances in breaking into the Switch, um, people found golf. And the stories were able to kind of become linked up, where it was like, oh, wait, this guy said he found golf like a little ways back and look we found the game so it stands to reason that you know maybe he wasn't an insane person really neat. There we go. There we go. Okay. Phew. <laughs> Gosh. Those guys are no joke when they've got the lightning. Like, boy, they're tough. Oh, I, yeah, and here's the thing that counters it, right? Here's the lightning counter right here. It's gotta be. Oh, is this the whole triangle thing that someone mentioned? Yeah, that's it. Oh, a real projectile that stuns? Why didn't she give you this before? She was all the way down that ledge. Oh, that kick was nice. This seems like a handy move.
No, she couldn't give you all these abilities at once. You can't handle it. What I taught you was a move we used to release power from within the Wow, neat. It seems to Just work experimenting with it. Okay. Okay, this seems pretty fucking good. Because it just gets you in for free. I wonder if this is... OP or anything. Oh, look, it actually... Look at Nax height when you do it. Nax height actually does release properly. Oh, and you can use it to hit faraway sunstone. Cool. Can I fire multiple at once? I'm trying to get Nax to be short. Nah, no, he's huge. He's fucking huge. This seems really good. Like... This seems really good. This thing seems like single opponents don't stand a chance. Like, unless there's a way to send it back. Oh, yeah. Oh, almost got another experience point. Yeah, I started playing Samus, uh... Samus. <laughs> I started playing Metroid Samus Returns the other day. It's, uh, it's really quite good. I had one situation where I had to use Reload Last Save. Um, because there was a checkpoint in a room with a natural obstacle. And I ended... There was a fight in the room, and I ended the room's fight with, like, like, two life control. left. We're and I was path. not physically Maybe able to make it through the obstacle, as far as I could see. So it seemed like I was completely trapped. And I had to use reload save. And I tried for, like, half an hour to find a way, but I just couldn't find a way. It was really odd. But otherwise, I'm really impressed by how good it is. I was a little... I don't want to say concerned, not that asshole, but I was a little worried that... Um, Mercury Steam might not be up to task, but they did a really good job. I was pretty much just worried because um, I hated their, ca their 3DS Castlevania so much. I think that game is really bad. Bearing in mind I'm a huge mark for Iga, so... Oh, Boomerang only works on enemies that are a smaller size or equal to you. Okay, cool. Then, probably not OP. Sometimes that tower flashes bright. Sometimes it just fizzles. Something's not working properly. Good news for us, right? Oh, wait. It also took out the laser in there. I am. Oh. <laughs> Fucking nice first try. <laughs> but yeah, so I am really enjoying uh, Samus Returns. I'm not too far into it. I'm. This looks I think my my progress well, was thirty percent or something. So I, I still have quite a ways yet. Hmm. But I'm quite enjoying it. What is that? Oh, yeah, the only other thing I don't like about it, uh, in general, is the, um, the wall jump is crazy nerfed from previous games. Previous games, you could wall jump off anything. In this game, there are some walls that you just can't wall jump off of. Just, and it just, whoa, fuck, this is gonna be a fight. There are some walls in, uh, Samus Returns where you just, you just can't wall jump. I'm a spider? Okay, so we got a real enemy now. This facility probably means we're getting close.
Can I get that from the side? Probably not. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, he was able to guard it. If they're in a guard, then they can... I see. That's good to know. What are you talking about? The voice acting is amazing in this game. This is Oscar-worthy. How long into the first knack before you got to In the first knack, you didn't get huge until quite a ways in, if I remember correctly. It took way longer than it should have. favorite lost planet mech and why is it the spider tank um so the spider tank's cool i'm gonna disappoint you a little bit and say that my favorite lost planet mech was the one that could combine oh fuck me oh, oh. god it brought me back so far god why nande oh wait hang on oh fuck i thought this was a teleporter instead i just damaged myself oh nande I know it's because we're going to have to return that way, but fuck, there was no way to see where I was dropping down to. Oh well, it's, it's not like it's far. I'm not too troubled by this. Oh shit, look at this puzzle. Have we talked about episode shadow yet? <laughs> Um, so, oh fuck. So, uh, the other day it was leaked and then formally announced that, uh, Sonic Forces is going to have an episode Shadow, where you play as Shadow through, I think, four levels or something like that? Or is it ten levels? I think it might have been ten levels, actually. Um, oh my god, I'm stuck. Not stuck anymore. That was weird. So Shadow's getting his own DLC for Sonic Forces, which is fucking awesome. And I'm very excited about this. Well done, Knack. I hope his music's in it, yeah. Thanks, Apocalyptic Express. I appreciate it. Mama's back. Okay, so it 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 can power through my hits. Okay, cool. That really wasn't so bad, actually. I really liked having the um, the the metal metal knack or whatever there for his flail or his whip or whatever. So good. Yeah, I, I think Sonic Forces honestly looks really good. I'm I'm really excited for it. I mean, I enjoy that type of Sonic gameplay anyhow. So even if it didn't look quite so good, I would still be excited for it. But I think it actually looks pretty legit. I think as time goes on, a lot more people are saying they think it looks legit too, which is cool. Glad people are into it. This cable looks like it was just cut. Best bet, Gundahar. Aren't they already on the same team? Uh, I think in forces they're on the same team. Yeah. Oh fuck. Okay. Oh, I don't like this checkpoint, but maybe I should just play better.
I think they're drawing energy from these crystals. That's a lot of power. Oh, right, I forgot. You have to swing twice on these things. These things are stupid, man. Press square, wait, hit X, wait, swing, swing. Yeah, yeah, and then you get an X button prompt on the second one. Oh, but no. Oh, you know what? If you have enough momentum, you can just gun it. Never mind, we're learning. Yeah, so I hope the Shadow DLC is good. And I really just hope it has his music and it plays at appropriate sections. I don't think it will, because I think it's just gonna kind of retread you through the Sonic levels. I think that's why it, it's so huge, because it's reusing all the levels. But, yeah. Yeah, that's also my least favorite thing about Sonic Mania. How it's empowered Sonic purists to be assholes about forces again. Or be assholes about modern Sonic, I should say. It's like, I'm sorry, Generations wasn't shit. Colors was not shit. These were good games. Lost World, sure. I didn't like Lost World very much. I know some people like Lost World, actually, so I'm being a bit of a hypocrite there, but... What do you think of YouTube adding emoticons for their streams? Uh, so they added emoticons and subscriptions, actually. Which is good, you know. Provide your provide your user base with those features. Keep yourself com as competitive as you can. I actually have subs enabled on YouTube now. Not that I have any, or will ever stream on YouTube, but... I got it. <laughs> so, hey... Yeah, the GBA and DS games are good, too. Wasn't trying to exclude them, just sticking particularly to, particularly to listing the new stuff. Oh, look at this puzzle room. So devious. Nope. Did they always have subscriptions? Because I got a notification about it, to, like, today in my email inbox. So maybe I just... Maybe I just missed the memo the first time. So I hit this blue switch and it seemed to do something, but I don't... listening for it. Oh shit! Wow, this one's well hidden. That's a good Are you fucking serious? Are you fucking serious?
Oh, cool, the enemies don't follow you back there. Yeah, I saw the blue gate up there, so that's definitely what that does. Okay, let's do that again. Ah, oh, how tedious. Oh, whoops. I think the teleporter only gives you one chance, because remember, it did respawn me up top. And then the second time I fell down was what made the fail state happen. Yeah, I did read the old Sonic comics. Ooh, Topaz Relic. Okay, that's one of the rarer ones. But I didn't read a lot of them. But I had a subscription at some point. Oh shit! Damn, that was relatively well hidden. Oh cool, so it's a projectile when you're in super mode. Automatically home in on foes, damn. You know, that still bums me out though, that the super mode can't be triggered manually as far as I can see. That really bums me out. I think that's just legitimately one of my complaints about this game. Wow, that's fucking strong. Look at this shit. I don't know if it's as good as the ground pound, though. The ground pound's really powerful. Like, the ground pound's terrifyingly powerful. Oh, you can use them in the gem with the gem nax. Hmm, that's interesting. The super moves. Okay. Someone's. I should clarify for YouTube watchers. Someone's saying that uh, you can use the super moves outside of super mode, but you need the gem nax, which are unlocked by collecting those crystals. Oh, that doesn't work on him, even... Nice. Okay, phew. I'm glad. Thought I was gonna have a death there. Can I get that by throwing thing at it? No. Yeah. 
Yeah, you can't use the boomerang in the air either. I was hoping I could use it to extend jumps, but it doesn't seem like it. So this is the heart of the control center. What a mess. I can see why this worked only I wish there was a VR knack game. Still being fixed. Let's see how well this thing works. I want to you know what? I want a VR knack game just to crawl under knack and make him turn small and get knack all over me. Let it wash all over my body. I'm coming for you, Gundahar. Admit it, you'd let him knack all over you. Gundahar's last stand. We're like halfway into the game. A bit past halfway. There's 15 chapters. So fuck you, last stand. There's so much game. There is so much game left. Yeah, okay, everyone seems to want knack all over them. It'd be a good tech demo, at very least. Let's try this way now. Ah, rip sunstone. I do like the sunstone experience thing, but boy, your sunstone disappears fast. Now, I've been waiting for you, Gundahar. Oh, I hope we get to fight him soon at the end of the level. Are you? You think you can oppose us? Of course. In that case, come on up. We'll see who has the last laugh. Oh shit, these fuckers. Oh man, these guys are these guys are actually no joke, so. Okay, we can learn new skills. What do we got? Uh, we got three points. I want to get the hookshot attack speed up just so we can reveal... Oh, these are revealed. Oh, we already did get it. Oh, yeah, this is our last one. Yeah. Cool. You know why it's exciting? Because that means we get to unveil the last quarter of Nax's soul. Why does Gundahar not just send the big robots at Nax right away? Because it's cheaper to send the little ones. <laughs> you wear them down first. So what do we got in this last section? The hook punch. Press square while pulling an enemy towards you to deliver a knockout punch. Okay, cool. So it's a real follow-up. Because right now when you do the hook shot, there's a little gap in time where you have to wait for the hook shot to end. Uh, hook kick. Oh, look how fast that is. That comes out really fast. Attack speed up for just regular punches. That's quite good. Kick attack speed up. Also quite good. Double strike. Okay, so you can do two at once. Wow, okay. Boomerang speed up. Okay, double strikes kind of seeming like the favorite right now. And attack area up. That one costs six. But the AoE is really large. Like, holy shit. If you look at the footage. Like, it's hitting enemies that aren't. he's not even touching. And then we can't see all these guys until, until we unlock those. I think I'm going to go for boomerang double strike. Yeah, Mario Head, I think since we're playing on Knack Must Crack difficulty, I'm getting the, the moves a lot earlier than you are in the game. Because I'm dying and repeating so much. Oh fuck, that Annie Air.
I really appreciate that the dash does damage now, because now I can uh, I can mash the dash towards opponents during their combo strings. And if they haven't done a true combo, then my dash gets through. Oh, look at that. Oh, and that's so good. Okay, here we are. That was a fun little battle up the cliff. Not too hard. But now's the hard fight. We'll see about that. Yeah, I'm here. Adorable. You have a sidekick. Sidekick. What? You don't remember Lucas from the first game? Nobody insults Lucas but me. Okay, that would be a good line if Knack had insulted Lucas more throughout the game. Oh, that can stun these guys. Okay. If we can stun these guys, then that's uh. Let me introduce you to my sidekick, These guys are still no joke, though. Even with that. <laughs> Such fun. Nah. You've come a long way, just to die. Nah, does that hurt? Brother! Two on one, Nack. Are you ready? <laughs> Finish him! Oh shit, got me. Nailed it. Let me introduce you to my sidekick, Snack. I wonder if... I doubt it, but I wonder if, uh... Let me introduce you to my The flash kick can stop their jump attack? I really doubt it. Strike him down! Ooh. Two on one, Nack. Are you ready? <laughs> Strike him down. God. Even even with the boomerang, these guys are still no joke. I've been looking forward I hope you're ready to hear that line a million time. times. That is correct. <laughs> Gotta dash towards the opponents. I've been looking forward to this for a long time. Smash him! Let me introduce you to my sidekick, Snack. Oh, that Superman punch he just did looked really nice. And Gundahar died. Gundahar died on impact. Good. Xander's here. Man, I wish the camera would have pulled it pulled in on that sick Superman punch he did. It was so it was so barely there. Gundahar was using the machinery here to send out the signals. Yeah. Oh, the nukes. The nukes are coming in. Is this going to trick the nukes? Are we going to lose control of the nukes? You say that like it's a good thing. Look, there's two different types of nukes. Clearly, they're going to become enemies. Aren't the problem. It's who controls them that makes a difference. Take this artifact. I recognized it instantly. It's an energy source designed by Yorick to power this control center. I'm surprised you didn't figure it out. <laughs> this is 
This was like into the, dynamo the most predictable writing on the fucking planet. If you knew what it was, then why didn't you tell us when I gave it to you? Some things are better left... unsaid. Now watch, as I turn the ancient weapons against the High Goblins. <laughs> Top 10 anime betrayals. No! Everyone's getting murdered! Now to wake them all. Wake them? We want to stop them. No, we but we can use them out. to defend the Earth. You knew about this? No, but I know Xander has a plan. We have to believe in him. Eva. Yeah, NAC 2 title drop right now would be sick. Goblins. Totally. We've done that. <laughs> uh, you know what the problem is with people like you, Lucas? No vision. Imagine what could be accomplished with an army of invincible robot warriors. Why, we could change the world. Man, we're gonna have to fight nukes soon. Finally. I'm putting an end to this. Are you going to kill the human? Neck, stop. Please. They're on our side. We just have to I explain. believe your trust is misguided. But ask them. Will you help us? Even no. We can't. God, the writing in this you game is it's painfully predictable. It's such a shame. Understand. The writing really lets it down. Time to go, Ava. And the writing in the first game was about the same, too. It's a bummer that this didn't improve in a meaningful way. What we do, we do for the sake of all mankind. It is our duty. They'll be safe here. You can retrieve them when things are set right. They'll be welcome citizens in my new world. Don't believe him. Ava. Is Knack 2 the DMC3 of the Knack franchise? Do you still Absolutely. Trust me? I do. It's certainly not the DMC2. It's certainly not the 4 I'm either. Knack 3 will be DMC4. Ava. You won't get away with this, Sander. I already have. Just kill him now. Boys. Just squish him. Show Knack that little trick I taught you. Are they gonna nuke together? <laughs> This is what we've been waiting for the entire fucking game. This is what we've been waiting for. Yeah, Cat's right, the nukes were, uh, they appeared earlier in the game. They haven't been in many scenes, and we've never fought them before. But they've been there. And no, they're not officially called nukes. I just don't know what else to call him. Wait, did we kill Gund- Let me- I have to see this trophy. Was that for killing Gundahar? I certainly hope that's not an off-screen death. I certainly hope Gundahar comes back at the end to help us or some shit. Do I just jump this? Holy shit. I'm so bad at this. Oh my god, I can't parry. I need to get big again. Oh right, we did establish that you can't parry the long beams, it's true. Shit. You got me. 
That's pretty well hidden, that one. I mean, it's obvious that there's gaps there, but you gotta make a... Like, a little bit of a jump. Oops, it's from the third one, wasn't it? Can you make it into that first one? Ooh, that's tight. There's probably nothing there. Oh, lo and behold, there was totally something there. Not as good a treasure as I would have hoped, but something. That's Battlefield. So we haven't actually gotten to fight this enemy outside of a tank yet. God, he fires so many shots. That's really the challenge with him. Second wave? No? Okay, alright. Uh, there's no more TGS stuff tonight, Moss. TGS starts in... Actually, it may have just started, but it's like show floor, you know? It's not... Uh... Like TGS doesn't have press conferences all the time. Press conferences all the time. TGS is, has like individual game company streams, um, but they're quite lengthy, and I don't really have plans to watch to stream any of them. I haven't tried failing QTEs yet, but to be honest, I don't really want to. I like seeing the successes. I like seeing Nax succeed rather than fail. It's the only thing that gets me hard anymore. Seeing Nax succeed. This doesn't seem like the right direction. Oh. My god, camera, cooperate. There was a knack hole there that I tried to make it to. You see it? Right over there. Oh, fuck. I didn't get a double jump because I walked off. There it is. Secret detector. Oh, yeah, 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 I forgot about this. We do want that. This is where you come up normally. Damn it, my safe technique doesn't quite work. Fuck this enemy. Fuck this enemy's placement. Fuck this actual enemy's placement. He's placed in such a fucking sensible location. Wow. Oh yeah, he's gonna knock us onto the convenient fight arena. Fight the nuke. How's this gonna go? 
It's actually a boss. Wow. Oh, shit. Oh boy, we gotta fight. Oh, they get to respawn too. You're pretty good. Okay, you want to just dash behind and fight the the leader one. Acted kind of weird, but yo, the nuke fight is so real. I just wish this character had character development, you know, to get us more into it. Oh shit, man, that range. Like, if this was a character, I would actually be so much more hyped. Yo, he broke the sunstone there. My sunstone. So yeah, you only do damage to the other one, too. Okay, you can knock him out of that before he... Before he gets the sword going. <gasps> the pushback. Now I gotta be careful. Yeah, we got him, we got him, we got him. Rest in peace, Nuke. Mac, we've got to get to the plane. That was actually a really neat fight. Oh, uh, Data Naza says, I really wish that fight was just stealing artifacts oh, from each other by doing damage. And you're totally right. That would have been fucking sick if we were Sandra? stealing artifacts you're from each like other. Four times his size. Hmm. Must be easy to stand it was still a neat fight, orders. but boy, if you were you trading artifacts, that would have been that would have been something special. Some strategy, you hothead. You handed. So this is the point in the story where the characters' well, maybe now you can relationship goes Asian. downhill before oh, rocketing Mac, back up. Impressive. Oh, Nack, you're so amazing. Lucas, I want to fuck Ava. Grow up. How fast is this going to fix hey, itself? Hey. Listen, I I, I really didn't <laughs> like, mean what I <laughs> Like I'm not 1 a second guy. later. I'm mad at Ava. Leave yeah, we, they ran out of motivation for the characters. How could you yep. Choose that Xander guy over us. We're awesome, right? We're also stranded. 
Maybe we could find something to help us get home. Okay. Um, well, we have one wrecked plane. And a few pine trees. And lots of robot rubble. We're going to be here a while, aren't we? Yeah. F 14 years later. Two weeks, that's not so Maybe bad. Maybe the doctor will send Ryder out with a search party. I, doubt I wish that was a brutal time skip. I wish that was a much more brutal time skip and you come back to a world that's been taken over by the robots. Mind you... There's Two weeks is home. still, you know, a lot of time for those robots to take I just over. Can't think of it. Maybe you'll think of something in the morning. Let's get some shut eye. Oh, they totally had food. Oh, yo, a month. Hang on. Okay. How far is this gonna go? They had food. They had all those goblin Maybe. corpses. Remember? They they were fresh Maybe. kills. I mean, now it's been a month, so. So is this a month and two weeks later? I assume this is one month and two weeks. This is a pretty well done cutscene. It's hard to do time lapses like this correctly. Having tried doing something like this when I was editing a video when I was a lot younger, it's hard to do time lapses as well. Four months! Yeah, so five months and two weeks. That's not bad. That is actually a lot better than I thought it was gonna be. I funny. still wish it was years. Let's do this. But almost half a year? You know what? <laughs> you got me a little bit there. I like that. I appreciate that. Are you sure this is gonna work? Yeah. <laughs> Hope so. So now we're probably gonna skip back to the beginning of the game where the robots are taking over the city. <laughs> I like how Knack just poofed. We'll hit the doctor's mansion first. Might as well settle in. We got a long way to go. Ava is now the leader of the resistance. Her and the doctor are leading a resistance, I wonder. It feels too predictable. Than I thought. It I feels too okay. predictable that they would be running Don't a resistance. Anything, but I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it's not too predictable. Uh, so this doctor's mansion was a level in the in the first neck. Killed. That human died. Oh, the stomps! These guys really want to kill Mac. Oh, I love how their attack is a stomp. That's so lethal for this baby Mac. Like, that's completely lethal, I bet. I bet that's a one-hit kill. Yo, that's so satisfying. That's such a satisfying attack to use on baby Mac. Uh, I should go up there and get that treasure chest first. Oh, it's a one-hit kill even on normal? That's awesome. I'm guarding way too early. Oh, there's a nuke there.
break the cars just in case there's a knack hole. Oh, there's a knack hole back there. Cool. Bummer. Let's go with the ruby because we're actually making progress there. Is this our 10th ruby relic? Halfway. We might actually be able to get the Ruby one by the end of the game, but I think in the first game you had to finish the game in order to, oops, in order to actually use them. So this is a goblin variety that's been repurposed. Have I got a mythic wreck from these yet? I don't know. Sure. Which ones are the mythic ones? I'm not sure. Damn. That's an encounter. Ooh. I was gonna say, how far do they come? Fuck, that can shoot all the way down the hallway? Fortunately, they come all the way down the hallway. They don't have a health bar. Or at least I didn't see it. We'll just bait them slowly, but this checkpoint sucks. Oh, they do have a health bar. I have very little respect for this checkpoint. I don't like this checkpoint. Yeah, just rushing the gun definitely seems like the only course of action. <laughs> that, guy, that guy fucking stomping around like a madman. I'm glad he couldn't hit me there. That jump back with the slowdown and everything. So, so how much money on uh, these guys are actually like working for the good guys? Okay, double strike boomerang or faster boomerang? Let's go for double strike. That one actually seems like it could make some encounters dramatically different. Stun time extended, that's good. Expensive as fuck, though. These turrets disappoint me. I just don't enjoy fighting against them. Yeah, the guard might work against those turrets just fine, though. It's true.
Whoops, wrong button. Whoa, that damage! We can just move on? There was totally a guy standing up there and he just disappeared. Oh, did they just show the monster on our character in Marvel Infinite? That's awesome. She uses three weapons. That's cool. Not as many as I know a lot of people were hoping, but... I'm glad it's not just one. I was worried it would just be one weapon. Oh my god, that jump! Yeah, Marvel Infinite does look really good. I don't have a copy. But it does look really good. Uh, something 282 asks, how is the game? It's good. Actu actually, like, pretty good. Compared to the first game, which is, like, staggeringly mediocre with good combat. God, the ground pound is just so much better than any other option. Even with those new tornado things, the ground pound just... <laughs> the ground pound just dazzles. He parries back. Ah, fun. I'm glad we finally got an enemy that could do that. That felt like a long time coming. Nice, okay, we lost all our sunstone, but that could have gone worse. Yeah, we just fought a Virgil Mac. Not nearly as much charisma as Virgil. That's the big loss, but... Look, they we're fighting one nuke. We fought like a group of four nukes that were combined together into a big one. If only it had character and had been built up, it would have actually been really, really cool. Nice. Getting to kill that enemy made that fight all work out. Great. Great, great, great. Will we see Virgil Mac again, or is it dead? Well, that one's dead. They're they're seemingly mass-produced. 
Um, that one definitely seems dead. Uh, it got split up and tossed into the water. So. Looks like you cleaned up the garden pretty well. The monks may be our enemies now, but they still fight the same. Let's head in. Oh man, this blade. The ultimate anti-air. Oh wow, it even beats up the body slam. Or trades, rather. It traded. I overheard the monks talking. Yeah, it's true. Some of these chapters are kind of short. Good point. Now, now that you mention it, the numbers have been ticking up a little faster. The game's ramping up to a fever pitch at this point. It's crazy long. Like, most games would be well finished by now. The first game had that, too, to a fault. I'm glad Nikoro has made it ahead of me. Because, boy, if we didn't get any, any friends, I'd feel bad. We need the constant reminder that other people are playing Knack, too. Oh, these are side words. Ah, fun. This is a fun idea for a section. Ah, my head's so itchy. My scalp's been dry the past few days. It's so fucking annoying. How do people deal with that when it's like chronic? You just tear your head until it bleeds? I'm sorry, that's kind of a gross thing to say. But how do you deal with that? <laughs> yeah, glue man, I totally couldn't deal with the beard. It was it was so itchy. How do people deal with that? Meet you on the other side. It'll grow back in time, but I don't know if I'll let it grow as long. Yeah, fight, baby knack. Um, this clearly needs a little something, something. Oh, look, there's a knack hole there. You know that this library stuff is actually fun. This is fun. Like, using bookshelves as platforms, that's that's cool. And, like, that's actually a real-life thing, too, those kinds of sliding books, so... It works on multiple levels. Aw, yeah! Only one more secret detector part. Almost there. Oh shit. Why did I just attack those books? <laughs> they didn't do nothing. Oh, that actually doesn't go further that way. Um, so this seems like the exit. Oh no, I see. So that moves that bookshelf? Yeah, okay. I would love to see gameplay footage of someone beating the bosses as Baby Knack. 
on Knack must crack difficulty. I won't do it. I'm brave, but not that brave. So this was in the first game, but it's a little different. This was like the tutorial area from the first game. Wow, wow, wow. Oh wow, I totally blew myself up there. Any particular environments and games you like to see? Um, I mean, now that you mention it, we just walked through the mansion archetype. I always like the mansion archetype. You ever play that game, The Haunted Mansion, based on that uh, movie? DreamWorks movie? That was a fun game. No time that was a fun, not this. Luigi's Mansion. Even if they were good ones. Oh, was it a Disney movie? Yeah, that's true, because I remember the ride from Disneyland. I didn't go on it. It was way too scary. Like, fuck you. Of course I didn't go on it. I just remember it from Disneyland. Oh shit, there was a knack hole behind there. I didn't even realize it. I was just walking against the wall. For no particular reason. Emerald relic, damn. Yeah, we're gonna take that. One of the rare ones. That knack hole is well hidden. Shit. I don't think we've managed to build up our sunstone at all during this session. Okay, this is a real fight. This one's a real fight. I think getting rid of the gunners might really help, but... That first one doesn't seem too bad to get rid of. Yeah, by the time I'm trying to do anything, they basically just become all over you. So I just need, you know, I just need to kill the, f the closest enemy. Yeah. Because the moment their numbers reduce, it becomes dramatically easier to move around. Mind you, not too easy, just dramatically easy. Fuck. There we go. Yeah, getting the two boomerang thing was definitely a good idea. Oh. Damn it. Squandered my chance. The elevators always go down, so I can't get under them and drop down. I always like when secrets are hidden under elevators.
Oh wow, the super made it to another room. Not that it really mattered. Two of these at the same time seems like a pretty real challenge. This one seems pretty real. There are some artifacts in the room, so if you get them. There's four artifact boxes. It seems like that would be really worth making an effort for. Ah, more. This is a this is a really tough encounter. We almost got one. Should I just try bum rushing one? Because it seems as though if I were lucky enough to get a perfect series, I could take one out of the beginning, but. I don't know if it's worth that. Wow, this fight! Holy shit! I don't know if the block works on the missiles. Yeah, it does, but holy shit, you get locked down. Still, that's much better than before. Sorry for always ignoring the block. I'm still just so used to how it was in the first game. Mind, you can still get guard broken, which is what happened just a second ago. Oh, I'm, yeah, when you're too small, you can't block. So the block only works when I'm pretty much at maximum size there. like a needlessly vicious encounter. Yeah, you can parry as Baby Nack. How's the parrying on these missiles? Oh fuck, that blew up on that. Doesn't seem like you can parry the missiles. Yeah, it doesn't seem like you can parry them. Wow, this is really tough. This is a really tough encounter.
<laughs> when I got hit there, I almost died, and that was really, <laughs> that was worrying. First try. Absolutely After first you. try. Whew, well, I'm glad we got it. It was genuinely tense. How long have they been cooped up in here? Some resistance force. They're in the back of the fucking parking garage. Oh no, the nukes look like knack now. No, no, it's me. After you two disappeared, things got a little strange. Xander announced his new world order and took the monks on a rampage across the country. That's about right. Your little friend Ava is the one who led the attack here. That figures. I'd say we're lucky she's the one who led the attack. Some oh shit, is she full betrayer? Like, are we gonna have a boss fight against her, but then at the end she'll help you against Xander? Are we gonna have to kill her in cold blood? So, Lucas, where's my plane? Uh, um, about that. Here, it's a new plane. Oh, he loves it. We saved an engine. No, he loves it. I loved that plane. <laughs> No, he doesn't love it. And what's that? A head? You built this out of robot parts? <laughs> I can't believe you made it all the way back in this thing. <laughs> You're certainly the brave one. Stop breaking things, dear. Lucas, I'd like to set you up with a proper engine. Do you mind if I tinker a bit? Be my guest. So... It's Xander, his monks, and the ancient weapons against just us? Well, unless you know someone with a large, independent military force. The goblins? Gandahar? No. Gundahar? No, Fuck me. Not. Or Katrina. There is no way I was really hoping it would be Katrina's you team up fortress. with Gundahar, but... Alright, going to Katrina. Katrina was a villain in the last game, in case you missed that. So that's Katrina's place, huh? She was cool, and she had a very good boss fight, and she had a very cool mech she piloted. She had a girl mech. You know, the mechs with the boobs. Maybe I should wait here and guard the car. Uncle. Is the doctor banging Lucas's mom? Uh, that woman actually is the doctor's. Wife? Girlfriend? Stay wife? Clear of those searchlights. If they hit you, it definitely is going to leave a mark. How do you know? Well, you could say it's not just my heart that's sore. Oh, shit. Yeah, teaming with Gundahar, I'll be Knack 3, it's true. Wait, I want to experiment with something. I want to let this kill me, and then I want to spawn and go straight up. And can I get through? No, can't get through. It's actually a wall. Because there's a little gap between them right at the beginning. Look, they fucking got through. What the heck? What the hecky? Attack robots. Reminds me of oh, you can damage boost through them on lower difficulties? Made. Cool. Good to know all this advanced tech for our low-level run. Our level 1 playthrough of Knack. Hey, watch it. Those things are just firing at me. humans. Why can't we just call her? They don't have a friendly relationship. This is cute. Oh, I thought I could make it. But I just got bodied. Oh, Roger's dialogue is not replaying. Bummer. That actually seemed like a line I wanted to hear. Okay, okay, I'm not down with that hitbox. I'm super not down with that hitbox.
Ah, Victor. Sent you back, doesn't it? Oh shit, look at this. This is fun. Usually stealth in non-stealth games is terrible. And while I still question that one hitbox there, this is actually not terrible. Because it's clearly made according to Nax abilities. Let's take Rollins. Damn it. We're so close to getting the treasure finder. Only one part away. I want that. How much further to the tower? Oh, we're not even halfway there. That woman is thorough. Ooh, almost a full sunstone gauge. Thank you. Someone, uh, Shadow Marshal, just told me I could use the boomerang to kill bugs. Great timing. Let's go with punch attack speed up. And what do we get back here? Combo length up. Five hits? Nice. This is probably kick combo length up. This one I don't know. That one is... A, the icon is a little bomb. I don't know what that is. Lucas, Nack, that starts up quick. To attack me, not you guys. I'll make my own way from here. Oh, really? The robots are programmed to attack him? That so that totally explains why they were only shooting at the humans because they are actually just shooting at Ryder. You know what? I really dig that. I actually really really dig that. Oh yeah, experience. Level of security here is just ridiculous. Except for the deadly robots and stuff. Uh, oh, although they are attacking the me? Oh, they have figured out with, we're with Ryder. Look at that writing contrivancy that kind of wrecks that special little bit. Okay, that was bad. Uh, okay, I'm going to go for the projectile enemies first. Oh, don't spoil what the upgrades are. I want to find them out. And more spoilers. Death situation. What spies? Oops, oop, 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 fuck. Those just kind of lock you in if you get hit by one. Or, I mean, they can. They don't always, but it's happened more than once. Oh, shit. I think there was a chest down that way. Gonna have to go the long way around to find out. Oh, yeah. Knack cover.
Ah, not quite far enough. Ah, I really don't like that. Ugh, it makes you restart the whole area. Okay, come on, that kind of sucks. I need late. Never too late. Yeah, I'm fucking dead again. Damn it. That one was kind of my fault. I should have remembered the pattern there. Oh, there's a knack hole on that side. Alright, fuck that hitbox. Oh my god, that hitbox. Hey, is that the last part? No, this is the combo meter. Okay, yeah. This is in the first game as well. Where you get a little combo meter, and when your combo is high, you do more damage. Night, Mr. Fluffy Puff. Sleep tight. You know what? I should take it just for safety. I, these actually fucking suck. The amount of damage they do, I really don't like them. And it sucks because this stealth section was actually fine. Like it was enjoyable, but it's really marred by how these things just instantly fucking kill you if they hit you under the wrong circumstances. And the wrong circumstances are, like, all the time. Yeah, I, I assume it's because we're on the hardest difficulty. I can't imagine this is how it is on normal. That that would be trash. It's not like this on normal confirmed? Okay. Well shit then. Oh well, we, we got through. I hope Ryder's okay. Damn it. Great damage boost. Totally intentional. Just had to waste all my sunstone to get it.
Oh yeah, experience. Look, oh my god, the amount of experience from that sunstone. Holy shit. Well, I guess she's not home. Let's go. Uncle. You literally given up? Seriously, Ryder, this is like end of the world. <laughs> the sheepish smile. For the last time, Ryder. Go away. <laughs> You heard the lady. Seriously, what happened? Um, guess I'll have to do this the hard way. Thanks, Knack. Uh, we'll be waiting right here. Or maybe further back. Oh, I can just jump these. Yeah, yeah, look, it's her fembots. Uh... Oh! Neat! For a second I wasn't too sure what those were doing. Combo counter? Yeah. Bomber! Man, we were so close to getting the treasure detector. Now we're just getting the combo counter. You prefer the term femputer. <laughs> That's so dirty. God, this experience. Oh, shit, did I maybe miss a knack hole? Damn it. Oh well. That's for our second playthrough. Ah, my sunstone! I so confidently thought I could make it through that fight and absorb that sunstone as experience. I was incorrect. These robots are from the first game. Yeah, maybe we'll do. We'll have to do a NAC 24-hour stream at some point, hunk a dunk. We'll play the mobile game and the original and NAC 2. Mobile game, criminally underrated. Actually, one thing I liked about the mobile game, the pretty much the main feature of the mobile game, uh, was it came out before NAC 2, and, or it came out before the first NAC and the PS4 came out. Um, and by playing the mobile game, which was just a Candy Crush ripoff, uh, you could collect items that you could bring right into the first game. And so when you start up the first game, it's like, oh, here, have all these have all these crystals. You know, like these rare crystals we've been collecting that give you new knack forms? Those things. So you'd be able to just start with a bunch of them. That was actually really neat. Is there anything over in this corner? No, okay. I forget, did Knack appear in Destiny of Spirits? I can't remember. 
Destiny of Spirits. Knack. I think he did. Yep. Knack appeared in Destiny of Spirits as a, uh, a character you could get. That's true. Let me just put this picture up on the screen so you guys can see that. Destiny of Spirits was a, uh, a gacha game for the Vita. Made by Q Entertainment. It was like, gotta get the Puzzle and Dragons audience with this mediocre RPG. Look, you could get a giant knack in Puzzle and er, in uh, Destiny of Spirits. It was great. There's actually a bunch. There was giant knack, wood knack, iron knack, robo knack. Robo knack being the uh, Multiplayer knack. How many other knacks were there? There's a whole knack category on the Destiny of Spirits wiki, but you know what? It's kind of irrelevant now because Destiny of Spirits shut down. Holy shit! There was a lot of characters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. There were twenty, no less than twenty knack characters that you could get in Destiny of Spirits. That's awesome. There was also a bunch of uh, Gravity Rush ones, too. Ah, oh, my poor Sunstone. Ah, my poor Sunstone. We were full on Sunstone. There's an item in that room. Or not. Just an orange box in the corner. Are there even 20 characters in Knack? There were in the first game! It's starting to get repetitive. Uh, I mean, as repetitive as any other action game. Whoa, that's a cool beam was not ready for that, not gonna front. I'm not gonna pretend I was ready for that. Yeah, a bunch of those 20 characters are just Knack, though, bear in mind. Like the wood me Knack, metal Knack, all the different variations. Oh, look at that robot coming over to fuck me up. I was literally... I just stopped to try guarding and do parries against him. I was literally about to say who's about to get fucked up now. It didn't even get to leave my mouth by the time I got fucked up. It was me all along.
Yeah, Knack, I assume, is the core in the middle. I think that's what it was established to be. Damn it, I missed a bug. I think I missed a bug. Is Katrina gonna be in here? This looks like an important room. God, Knack is too strong at this point. This room is a total victory lap. Now we're getting nowhere. Yeah, there we, there we go. Katrina, we need to talk. She looks a lot older than she was in the first game. Like she has those old people lines there. No need to speak. Nack already briefed me about the situation. Fortunately, I have several thousand security robots specifically designed to keep out undesirables. You're talking about Ryder, aren't you? Yes. Yes, I am. A few tweaks and they'll be ready to take on Xander's robots. What kind of tweaks exactly? Yeah, her skin Maybe. did get a little bit darker in this game, it's true. Like, she was dark-skinned in the first that? game, Mario Thing. had, but she did get a bit darker. That's my ride. Thanks, Charlotte! Why didn't we just fly up here in the first place? Why didn't we just call her on the telephone? Thank you, November Magnus, for being on the same page here. We had options. We chose the worst. We pretty much chose the worst option we could have picked. Xander's up to in there, but I'm sure it's not good. This, th sorry, this breakneck pace is actually too fast. and her troops are ready to go. Knack and I will infiltrate the door open for you. Tell Katrina. Right. I'll let Charlotte know to tell the doctor to let Katrina know you're on your way. Just talk. I assume she wouldn't have spoken to them, but like, yeah. we could have flown up there. Robots programmed to destroy you. We could have sent her a fax. You cannot deny faxes. There's smoke coming out. They arrive. Maybe we can get in through an air vent or something. And you've just got them. You just have to deal with the fact that you've got a fax. I think I'm gonna call it there for the evening. New chapter, chapter eleven. We're making it. We're like almost there. Let's get the hook punch. No, it's it, Mario Head says you can deny them if you don't have a fax machine, but I don't think anyone doesn't have a fax machine. I think everyone has a fax machine, so how could you possibly deny them? Is it just those four? There were more in the first game. Or maybe it's because we just haven't seen uh, the other ones. Man, we're so close to the secret detector. Combo meter. So seven total? I hope there's more than that. It's kind of a bummer if there's only those seven. I love this little menu where Nax hanging and you can see that it's kind of um, blurry on the, like, his body. God, let me retake that sentence. I love this little menu where Nax hanging and the menu kind of blurs him out. It's cute. Real cute menu. All, all menus on all PS4 games, regardless of brand or company, should have to have Knack hanging over them. Oh, yeah, you get a poster that says hang in there with Knack hanging. That's so true. I'm so down for that. But yeah, that should be a TRC, so you, you have to have Knack hanging off your menus to ship a game on PS4. Oh, hey, Mountain Dew. How you doing? You caught me right as I was closing out, unfortunately. But how you doing? Have you played Knack yet, Mountain Dew? Have you have you been introduced to the Church of Knack? Cause it's a fucking good game. And you're missing out. You gotta get a PS4 emulator on your PC. <laughs> oh, sorry to spoil your raid. 
Fuck. This happens every time friends raid me. It's like, oh, I'm closing up. It's a bummer. It makes me feel sad. Because you guys thought of me. And I can feel that affection. And I appreciate it. I appreciate you. <laughs> hey, you gotta raid someone else. <laughs> uh, that's so good. Well, that's knack two for the night, guys. I think I'm gonna be back on at some point tomorrow, and we I think I will probably stream the first chapter of Danganronpa in the end. Um, I need to, I didn't expect to get a PS4 review code, so I need to replay the demo on PS4 in order to, in order to be ready, because you get transfer stuff. And I'll probably check out Four Goddesses online tomorrow as well. So that'll be, that'll be a good time. Fuck, I am tired. What time is it? Two o'clock in the morning? Shit. Did I have anything better to do than play Knack? Nope. Oh, yeah, when I say tomorrow, I actually mean today. Sorry, you're right. My bad. Because it is tomorrow. Because it's two o'clock in the morning. Shoutouts to Discord, Mach T Rex, and Lazy Ninja72 for their subscriptions tonight. Super appreciate it, guys. And I know I saw some bits earlier. I think Metroid Zard sent some. A couple other people. Uh, thank you very much for the bits. Totally appreciate it. Uh, Mario had asked, Yo, when's Pokken? Uh, no plans. I actually canceled my pre-order because I, I don't have time for uh, fighting games these days. Canceled my pre-order of Marvel Infinite, too, actually. Much as they, you know, look great. I already played Pokken on the Wii U as well, so I kind of knew what I was getting into. So... Um... Any plans for some Game Boy shit? Uh, I mean, I have the stack of Game Boy games, so we'll just we'll just stream some shit next time Game Boy shit comes up. Yeah, you do get items for playing through the Danganronpa V3 demo, so I highly recommend playing it. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, Mountain Dew. Next time, next time you'll catch me, and you'll you'll ruin my stream chat with whatever the fuck that emote of the rock is. <laughs> it's kind of scary looking. Uh, Orond asks, what do you think about the streaming limitations on Danganronpa? So Danganronpa V3 um, has a streaming limitation imposed on it uh, by Spike Chunsoft in Japan. Um, the limitation is um, you're not, for the time being, just like with Persona 5, you're not allowed to stream past the beginning of the first um, uh, court, not court case, what are they called? You're not allowed to stream the first court case, or whatever that, uh, whatever, whatever it's called. Um, so you can stream everything up to there, so you can stream 90% of the first chapter, but you just can't stream that last little bit. Um, I think, I think, oh yeah, class trial, thank you, that's what they're called. I believe, um, I believe the stream limitation is only until the game releases, because the game's still not out yet. Um, but I believe it's only, I'm, I'm looking it up right now. Um, nope, that's not true. Not true at all. It seems to be pretty permanent. So Nipponichi Software America says on Twitter very clearly, um, this is the second part of their tweets, but I only have the second one here. Those who decide on breaking the guidelines will risk being contacted by Spike Chunsoft to remove any video content past chapter one. So it seems really clear to me that it's Japan who doesn't want that. Uh, I somehow think that Nipponichi Software America is just like, um, uh, Atlas is an American group where they're like, yo, we don't give a shit, but Japan's Japan's holding the leash. Um, so, uh, what do I think of it? Um, I respect the intent. I strongly respect the intent of not getting people spoiled. I so strongly respect that. Um, I can't emphasize that enough. I can keep saying it over and over and over again. Um, but ultimately... At the end of the day, um, 
people will still go past it. People will still post all execution compilations with spoiler thumbnails on YouTube. Um, and ultimately, it's only going to hurt, like, leg legitimate streamers. By legitimate streamers, I mean to say people who aren't just posting spoilers, like, you know, with YouTube videos with names and pictures and shit. Like, I really respect the intent, but ultimately, I don't. I don't really, I don't agree with it, you know, so... That bums me out. Yeah, Thorn. Uh, Thorn says he heard V3 was bad, so he's not sure if he should try it or not. Uh, at very least, try the demo and get a taste for the, the for the flavor of the game because it is a little different from the first two games. Beautiful. It actually looks really good as well because, of course, the first two games were PSP titles um, that got you know upresed and such, but didn't really you know this was actually developed with the Vita in mind, so it looks a lot better. Um, I heard that the story is very divisive, particularly the ending. I don't know the details of it, um, but I heard it's very divisive. And I, you could actually see that in the American reviews that have started coming out, where it's got some 10s and some 9s, but then it's got some 6s, which are, like, way lower than scores given for the first and second Danganronpa. So, you know. I hear it's a bit divisive, the ending. Uh, but I don't know the details. Um... Also, because it's like my biggest concern, I think. I think um, when I stream it tomorrow, I'm going to have a very hard rule on spoilers. Like, if you post any spoilers, you fucking banned. Like, I, I'm... That was kind of the reason I didn't want to stream it in the first place. But I know people really want me to stream it, so I'm going to do... And especially seeing as they put that rule in place, I was able to look at it and go, you know what? Since I can only stream the first chapter anyway, I feel comfortable streaming the first chapter because people really want to see it. Um, like, I'm, I am comfortable with that, so I want to do it. Um, but I'm going to be really tough on anyone who's spoilery. Oh, yeah, maybe maybe I'll do sub-only mode in the, in, the, um, in the chat, actually. I might actually do sub-only mode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you for those suggestions. Because um, I wouldn't have thought of that. Uh, but I'll, I'll probably do that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. this is a review code, Mario had. Same with, same with NepNep. But I need to, I need to, like, blast through the demo again. To... Oh, I didn't get the theme, because I didn't do a pre-order. I just got a code. Which sucks. Damn it. Wish I would have got the theme. Um... I need to blast through the demo just to get the item unlocked again. I already did the demo on the Vita version, but you can you can skip to the second half, so I'll do that. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Thank you for all your input on the sub-only mode. Especially Aussie Manny and Protein Clock, neither of which are subs, but say, do sub-only. I appreciate it. I appreciate that people are cool with that, so... Yeah, Bread Assassin. I mean, if you do choose to uh, to tune in, Bread Assassin, fortunately, it'll only be the, the the very first chapter of the game. So, I think the only spoiler will be like one character death. We can't actually show the the class trial itself, but I guess we will see whoever dies there. So, yeah. Will I stream Prison Battleship? Oh, I don't see why not. I have to stream it on fucking Picardo, but. No. <laughs> Sorry, LV Doomian. Yeah, we're just closing out, so... Yeah. Thanks, Aussie Manny. That's sweet of you. Matt's talked about you before. I think... I, has he met you? Do you do art? The name, Aussie Manny. I'm, I'm sure I've heard it out of Matt's mouth more than once. Do you mod Matt's streams? Why do I know that name? I don't know. I'll have to Google around and creepo and be a creep, try to figure it out. It's difficult. I need to know. <laughs> yeah. He has he has for sure said your name. I don't remember what the context was. But he said it more than once, and it wasn't negative, it was positive. But fuck, what was it? If it's not stream modding, then I'm not sure. So, yeah. And FYI, uh, if you are going to play Danganronpa V3, if I haven't said it enough, do play through the demo. Um, because when I when I realized I was getting a PS4 copy to be playing and not a Vita copy, 
I said, okay, well, let me check what the demo item is to see if it's actually worth redoing to get it. It is so fucking worth it. Um, it's not really a spoiler. You get um, a bunch of mono coins right at the beginning of the game, which are those awful things that you usually have to grind by poking the environment. You just get a bunch. You get a big windfall of them. Um, and you get an extra skill to use in class trials uh, right at the beginning. And you get a... Um, another miscellaneous item that unlocks an extra scene in the first chapter. Um, which, I don't really know the context of that, but it unlocks a full extra scene. So, so make sure you do that. The demo legitimately just gives you more content. So, yeah. The demo's good, though. Like, well, it's fine. It, it it suffers from, like, the fact that it's a non-canon demo means it really suffers from how nothing fucking matters. Sorry, that was terribly worded. Because it's a non-canon demo, it really suffers because nothing matters. And there's no real weight to any of the situation. Because it's not canon. So... Uh, that kind of sucks. It does have, yeah, Makoto and Hajime are both in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. How many hours till the next stream? Probably, probably, I don't know, probably in the evening, for sure. I have a CrossFit course in a scant seven hours. Oh my god, I need to go to bed. Actually, six, six hours, 40 minutes. Oh my god, I need to go to bed. I just remember that. Will it spoil Danganronpa 2? Uh, it does not spoil Danganronpa 2. I'm thinking very hard. It does not spoil either the first or the second game. Or Ultra Despair Girls, for that matter. Yeah, it does not. I'm like 99.9% .9 sure. So, shit. Anyway, uh, I'll see you guys later. Because I gotta I gotta get going. Oh, will the chat be past Dying Rumble Spoilers? Um, I think I'll go out of my way to avoid Dying Rumble Spoilers in the stream. Since Danganronpa 1 and 2 are not connected to Danganronpa V3, um, it stands to reason that it shouldn't be too tricky to avoid spoilers. So, I'll be careful. I'll be careful. Was there a thing about a character that the demo spoils, Bread Assassin? Can you whisper it to me and I'll, I'll check it out? Because maybe I'm wrong, and then I can totally recommend not to, not to play the demo if you don't want to be spoiled. Yes, yeah, supposedly not connected. Personally, I don't believe it. I think they're totally going to be connected, and we're going to find out like late in the game that hey, they're totally connected. Uh, but. I imagine the very beginning of the game um, probably won't won't link up. I'd be surprised if the very beginning of the game had had spoilers from from the first two. Get a better PS4 theme. Yep, I can't wait to get rid of this theme. Yeah. Okay, Brett Assassin hasn't messaged me yet, so I'm just gonna say maybe there's spoilers in the Danganronpa V3 demo. I'm not sure, so. Anyway, take care of yourselves. I'll see you guys later. Oh, wait, Brett hasn't. He just messaged me. He just messaged me. Oh, it's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the demo, it's true. It's true. In the demo, the protagonist of Danganronpa 2 reveals something about himself. It's not the biggest spoiler in the world. It's a small spoiler, I would say. But that is totally true. He does say that. I don't think it's late game spoilers, but I also don't quite remember. But I don't think it's late game spoilers. So, but that is true. Yeah. Does he reveal that he's a piece of plain white sandwich bread? Yeah, he's, he's plain. <laughs> I mean, that's the point that he's super plain. That's how his character develops in an interesting way. Yeah. Uh, I think it's an early game Danganronpa 2 spoiler. I don't think it's a late game spoiler, so, yeah. 
he he reveals he reveals his ultimate ability is what it is um so yeah so yeah anyway uh i will see you guys later for real because i gotta get going so uh take care of yourselves see you guys later sleep tight i know i will oh my god i have to be up in like six hours fuck me see you guys later Bye 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 i'm probably gonna not i usually always put music at the end but if i have to be up in six hours i'm gonna go straight to bed so i'm just gonna i'm just gonna close out the stream it's gonna be shitty compared to normal stream endings but i'll play music really loudly for a few seconds though <laughs>